Hey, Picks and Parlay family, it is me, Detroit Lenny, here with another free pick for you. But this time, we're starting off the 2022 NHL season. Regular season is upon us, folks. We're going to talk the Vegas Golden Knights at the Los Angeles Kings. Already a banger. Already game one in the regular season. Technically not game one, but regular season game one kind of thing. Um, we are going to talk that. Before we do, though, I got to mention Caesar Sportsbook. They are the sponsors for our videos here on the show. Wager up to $1,250 on your first bet. If you don't win, don't worry. You'll get 100% of your stake back as a free bet. And win or lose, you also get 1,000 reward credits and 1,000 tier credit points. All you got to do is sign up. Use the promo code GTD full. Again, GTD full, and you'll get all that stuff I just mentioned. The link is in the description of this video. With me today, we brought in the man, the myth, the legend from Earl Sports Bets. Don't tell Tim Earl, Nick Earl. Uh, how are we doing straight from the Earl Sports Bet headquarters over there? Uh, what's going on, my man? Yeah, thrilled. We get hockey back, finally. I know we yes. had the two games in Prague, but now we get more than just one game a day. So this is right. where uh, the fun begins. That's right. Let's talk some Vegas Golden Knights at the Los Angeles Kings. This is already start. I mean, I know the Knights are a newer franchise, technically. Uh, this is already a nice little rivalry right here. Uh, Vegas at L.A. L.A. is a pretty nice little favorite, minus 120-ish. Over-under is at 6. Talk to me about this matchup. What do we expect here in our um, game one of a regular season NHL? Yeah, I have a feeling the Vegas Golden Knights are going to be one of those teams that um, are either going to make me a lot of money or they're going to lose me a lot of money this season because um, I really do like them a lot here. On paper, I think they're one of the better teams in hockey. They are a big boomer bust team. I will put that out there now. They are a team that's either going to miss the playoffs by 10-plus points or they're a Stanley Cup contender. Uh, we'll see what they do this year, but it's going to be good to see them with Mark Stone, hopefully healthy again. With Petrangelo and Martinez, hopefully playing a full season. And White Cloud, hopefully playing a full season. And Eichel playing a full season. You see the theme going on here. Last year, their top players missed tons of time with injuries. And it, it really cost them. I mean, they came a couple points short of a playoff spot. And they had most of their best or better players out for most of the year. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take a shot here with Vegas to start off the uh, NHL season. I think that their blue line is one of the better ones in hockey. The true question mark is what is Logan Thompson going to look like this year as their starting goaltender? I think if he's good, all he has to really do is be good. Not He doesn't have to be great. He just has to be good in order for this team to be a playoff contender. If not, if not look to make a decent run in the playoffs. I think we see a good matchup here, and I think we're. I'm, or I'm, and I'm going to go with a little bit of even money here to start off the NHL season. I'm going to take the Vegas Golden Knights here, uh, money line against the LA Kings. I lo I love it. Uh, I, I'll be honest with you. I think the Knights. Uh, we've talked about this privately multiple times prior, prior season or prior to the season starting. I, Vegas is going to be one of those teams where I'm going to be on. Um, and I'm either going to be like, you know, in a couple months, they're going to be at the top of my Christmas card list, or they're going to be banished for life. Uh, so, <laughs> you know what I mean? It could go either way. I like what the Knights have done. I think, I think we said, we called that earlier in the year, last year, where they're not going to make the playoffs. You know, they're going to have a hard time last year, but this year, I think it's a bounce back spot, a good spot for them. I think they could do some good things in the playoffs. Goaltending, I think, is a big question mark there. Which, it is. You know, I mean, uh, for everybody nowadays. But um, so that's that. But Nick, tell us what you guys at Earl Sports Bets got going on over at Picks and Parlays. How we doing? All that good stuff. I mean, yeah, we got – feels like everything going on right now. The playoffs in the MLB, the NFL, college football, NHL is returning. So is college basketball and NBA. This is the busy time of the year. So mm -hmm. definitely a lot going over uh, at Picks and Parlays. And I know that you guys are volume, you volume, volume, volume. So, when, you know, you add more sports. This is the prime time for all of us in this industry. Uh, when you got everything clicking from playoff baseball to college basketball starting, hockey starting, NBA starting, footballs in just full swing. Um, I mean, and I know you guys do everything from Canadian football to, you know, everything. Just Let me just say that. All the footballs. Uh, you know, so – 
Definitely check out Nick Earl and Tim Earl over at Earl Sports Bets uh, and over at Picks and Parlays on the leaderboards and stuff like that. We're over at picksandparlays.net, and you're looking for them. Use the promo code NFL. That'll save you 20% off the entire site. Until then, we are rolling with the Golden Knights and the money line. Even money, folks, plus 100. So you better jump all over that. Until then, you guys know the drill. Good luck, unless you're against us. Take care.